Right. <laughs> this might this might might not work. Um, I just need to invite Ryan. Uh, give me a second. Sorry about this, guys. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Prestige Reef. What's his email address? At there we go. Well, I've just sent Ryan a new link. <clears throat> and tell me, by the way, uh, leave a comment if um, if it's working. Tell me if if you can hear and see me and all that sort of stuff. It says no one watching. This is all very weird. Oh, actually, there might be no one watching because. I've just created a brand new link out of nowhere. Uh, we'll give Ryan a second. We'll see, we'll see if he joins. Here we go. Sunday is back on. I think we're all right. Uh, switch accounts. Hello, everybody. Uh, bear, with, bear with me. Bear with me. I can see everybody's saying it's uh, it's working. Prest oh, hang on. This is Prestige. I've just sent you a new link on email. <laughs> okay. Click the link and we'll talk about it. Uh, Ryan thinks it's a worldwide issue. Oh, wow. Terrible. Um, but there is a new... Let me see if I can... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to see if I can do some admin, some YouTube admin to fix that. Uh, there he is. I've just got to do some YouTube admin, Ryan, to fix the um, the, the thing. <laughs> so is it is it a different link now? Mm, yes, yeah, a completely new. Unfortunately, it's a completely new um, stream. So I'm just Is it working, to... though? Because I Googled it, and it says that... Yeah. Well, about, a, about an hour ago, it says if you're experiencing this is from YouTube. If you're experiencing buff, buffering issues, our team is aware and working on fixing it. Fair enough. We'll we'll just crack on because there, there's not much else I can do about it, and it's it is working. It's not it's nothing to do with my internet connection. Uh, so Monty's Monty. Hey, well, we've covered my bit. It's time for you to cover your bit. I think. <laughs> uh, well, I need you to keep talking because I need to do some updating. <laughs> oh, okay. I love Montepora. They grow really fast. So, yeah. what, what would you like me to talk about? Um, what uh, What else? Have you got any new corals in on the farm recently? Uh, I had a an import in on Tuesday last week. Yeah. Uh, so I do have some new corals in. Uh, I have, uh, for example, some like pink tip torch corals, but I haven't processed them. Uh, by um, by that I mean like frag them up into like at the moment they're like seven or eight heads, so I need to turn them into like one or two heads. So I've got some of those. I got uh, I got that pavites that I uh, told you, you know with the um, the tube worms. Yes, the fan yeah, worms. Yeah, yeah. Yes, forgot, yeah, yeah. but. I don't think that they're as nice as the other one I had, which is why I didn't say, yeah, you want this. It's all right. They're just really small ones as opposed to the last ones were really big. Has it got the little pagarita crabs? I didn't look close enough to it. I don't think it does. No. Okay. If it does, are you interested? I really want those uh, those crabs. I well, think they're awesome. <laughs> Jay's asked, how do you graft them onto Pora? Uh, so... Generally speaking, the thing the things that you consider grafted Montipora are not two different Montipora which are grafted together. Um, grafted Montipora is actually a fluorescent protein infection. Um, it's actually true. Do you know this? Oh, I've got yeah, I've heard a lot about that lady, and I've got a fluorescent protein infection. I was, I was watching a uh, was it Frag Garage did a stream the other day, and they were talking about it. Uh, I, I don't I've know. got I it in one of my calls. <laughs> I didn't see it. So, but but basically, yeah, it's a fluorescent protein infection. It can spread to other corals as well. From so, I have two different types of Montipora. One is purple and red, and one is green and red. I actually have three different types, and <clears throat> I now one of the green ones has now grown purple in it. So it's like transferred, even though they're in different trays. They're ones in the top tray, ones in the bottom tray. The okay. the, the it's the fluorescent protein infection has transferred <laughs> over. Interesting. Uh, sorry, I've, uh, I've everyone's my... complaining, aren't they? <laughs> and oh no, no. Look, there's, there's, look, if it's a YouTube problem, it's a YouTube problem. So yeah, my internet is fine. Yeah. So we'll just carry on. And if it, if because at the end of the day, this audio will be recorded locally, oh, so I'll be able to upload it as a podcast. So oh, whatever, okay, whatever people say, sorry, and just hold on, hang on, and we will. You might hear us again in a bit. So. Um, but yeah, so you've got, yeah, so the, yeah, I just, I really want one of those ones with the, the little pagarita crabs. I was looking, I was looking back, I had, um, I went to Reef Dreams when it existed <clears throat> ages ago and they had two really nice Christmas tree worms. Yeah. Um, and I, I just, I want a really nice one. I don't just want like one just for the sake of it. Was it a Christmas want... tree worm or was it like a tube, like a fan worm? 
Oh, no, I say when I say Christmas tree, uh, Christmas tree rock. I mean. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the, the rock with all those little like with the parites, coral, and the the burrowing um, worms and hermits and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, they're just so cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be, I actually both of mine went to uh, one of my customers. Um, she had the first one, and then after that, she went, "Can I have the other one as well?" <laughs> and yeah, yeah. because they were like on these ones, they're tiny, whereas on on her ones, they're like quite big ones now. Um, I don't know if they're the same, if they're a different species and they're just older. I don't know. But yeah, mm. they, it, uh, she could have them because she didn't have anything that would eat them. I found that as soon as yeah. I put them in a tank with a cough band, the cough band tried to eat them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, they bloody love worms. <laughs> yeah. So it was, um, <laughs> they're, they're an acquired taste. If they're not for everyone, basically. Um, no. Well, I mean, yeah, there, there's, everything is a compromise, isn't it? If you if you want a certain fish, you can't have a another fish, or if you want a certain coral, you can't have a certain fish. And yeah, yeah, of course, invert yeah. or whatever. <laughs> well, that's that's basically what our tanks are. There are just a load of choices that we make. Sometimes we yeah, don't make them. Sometimes they get they get put in by accident. Mm. But we'll see. Well, uh, so what am I up to? I hear you cry. Oh, what uh, are you up to? Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, so I've had a really busy week. First off, we well, a really busy weekend, really quiet week, okay, re reefing wise, yeah, uh, and then a really busy weekend. So I decided to do some rescaping. Oh uh, yeah, I saw that. Well, two two rescapes. I'm going to tell you the one that you haven't seen yet. Yeah, the Cade. Okay, you see that there? Uh, that? It looks like there's like a crevice down the middle. Uh, you uh, can't, someone yeah, will take that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> this is now a torch garden. Ooh. Oh, so they, these are my torch. They actually look really nice now. They're close to the glass, I can see them much better than when they're at the back. They look really nice, yeah. But they were at the back on at the top of this rock. Where is it? At the top of this rock. But I took them down, yeah, because I bought a bubble tip anemone today. Oh, did you? My first ever oh. bubble tip. How, how are you finding it? Uh, well, it's been in for like two hours. It's moved an oh. inch away from where I wanted it to be. Is it pink? <laughs> it's uh, it's a tricolor, so it's okay. red. Well, it's red and green. <laughs> it might have some other colors in there. You got other colors, yeah. maybe, yeah. But it's just red and green. It's it's really nice. Um, but yeah, it's cool. And I'm it's at the moment. It's like it's golf ball size and it's shriveled and it's it's pissed off basically yeah. because it's been uprooted. But um, yeah, it's cool. It's a nice smallish one, I think. Yeah, you just reminded me. I asked, I was like, are you going to any fish shops with this weekend? I'll be bored. I'll come with you. And then you just went and you didn't even invite me. Not good. Not good. Oh, I did invite you. I invited you to rugby. Oh, that was a long way away. You went to much closer ones. Oh, for God's sake. I forgot about that. Yeah. So there was a there was a, a fish meet at, um, or a coral a shop, coral LFS meet at um, Reefkeeper Rugby yeah. yesterday. Um, but it was throwing it down, and the missus had the car, so I could. I, had, I was on the motorbike, yeah. And I just, it just, it was okay. It would have been okay getting there, but on the way back, it looked awful, so I didn't go. But, um, but I forgot that you'd um, that you wanted to go. I all forgot. of your adoring fans, you know, they were there. They turned up just to see you at rugby, and you didn't even show your face. Not good. Uh, no one knew I was going because I, I told everyone. Know. I told everyone I knew, <laughs> okay. which is Me. like three people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so but so I I went to I go to fish shops every weekend. So I was at Reefkeeper Moss End yeah. yesterday, yesterday morning. I was at uh, Maidenhead Woking <laughs> the same day. Yeah. And today I went to Aquatic Addiction in Wokingham. Wokingham. Oh, okay. Um so yeah, but no, it's uh, have you been you to spend any time with your missus? <laughs> missus, missus. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, the wife. No. Uh <laughs> no, don't don't really need to. We're married now, so you know, it's just like she's yeah. trapped. <laughs> she's yeah, exactly. Can't go anywhere, so um no she was away this weekend oh, which is why i was free to do um free to roam she was she went up to see a couple of her mates so <clears throat> i was free oh, to do whatever i wanted to. someone has just asked the question which i know that people will be wondering and if you checked my channel you'll see that there is a video on quarantine on there yeah so, your video today in fact yes now the re the reason i put that video out today was because i promised you last week i would do it and because alex chased me most days to go have you done your video yeah, yet yeah i was and gonna I went, shame you and i went Nah, not yet. And then, and then it got to today. I'm like, okay, I can't do it. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, I, so it's cool. I was gonna say, I'm surprised you didn't put it in the news. <laughs> yeah, well, we haven't got to the news yet, so true. Um, but yeah, so that so the the re, that, so that's the first rescape I did a little a mini rescape there. Uh, yeah. But the main rescape was on my main channel, which I posted on Instagram earlier, and that was I got just I was talking to a guy the other day, um. 
uh, and someone came around uh, to look at the tank and uh, buy some stuff. And I was talking to him, and, and he was like, uh, I, I, just, "I was just like, you know what? I just some stuff I just don't like." Wait, it's which this, is the new one? The bottom one. So the before is top, after is the bottom. Oh god, this I've massive John Deere <laughs> Leptus Strayer here. <laughs> yeah. Is I didn't like it. All this whole bit, all back here, is just green. Everything is green. I yeah, hate yeah. it. So I removed that John Deere Leptus Strayer, which is now just out of the way, waiting to. I'm going to sell it. Yeah. Uh, and I've got a big um, PC Rainbow that is now around the back to free up a bit more swimming space. Yeah. But the other bit, this, so just here next to the rabbit fish there, there's a big um, sunset Monty. That's about the size of your head. And that I've managed to uh, crack and I can, I think I can remove it now. Okay. <laughs> so I might be able to get rid of my enormous sunset Monty. You've, you've got rid of some, uh, like a big something. It looks like possibly some sort of digi or something, but I know you don't have those. I don't think in the, in. I've got a Monty digi. Yeah. I snapped uh, it. I, I was, I was trying, I snapped it with my elbow. Oh, so it was an accidental. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I only snapped off one branch actually. It, it, so the second face, it looks worse in that face. No, it's than it's it the is. big piece next to it. Just to the left of that. This. No, go to the top picture. Yeah. There. That oh, piece. that, that, that bit. No, nope, no. Nope. Why am I, that this. piece? Yes. That's the PC rainbow that I moved to the back. Oh, I didn't know that. So that's, okay. that's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, but that was, that, so that PC rainbow was blocking a, a, the swimming space where a load of fish like to swim. Yeah. And it no longer is blocking it anymore. So that's cool. <clears throat> so I've done a bit of a rescape and I just, I just, I just wanted to, I, I, this massive, when you've got this enormous mass of green, it looks yeah. rubbish. And I had the Leptostraya, which is a lovely coral, yeah. Leptostraya next to the Sunset Monty. And it was just this, it was like two feet of green. And I didn't like it. So I've got rid of it. I think you have a problem. You can't stop problem? playing with your tank. Can't sit you still. literally, I, like, <laughs> I put, I will put a coral in my tank. And if I don't like where it is, it will be there in six years time. <laughs> it's like once it's in, it's done. And I just leave it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want this to be, I want this to be right. Yeah, but you can't get these right. This is nature. You can't get it right. Bloody can. Watch me. <laughs> You're trying I'm happy with I'm happy with most of it now. It's just a couple of bits. And uh, I've, I've managed to break up a couple of bits of um, Tropic Thunder as well. Yeah. Which will be coming. I'll get more of. Uh, what else did I do? So rescape the Cade, rescape that. Oh, yes. Do you know what I saw today? I was looking at my... I pulled out my um, uh, tracking because I've got a yeah. ghoul crab in it, right? Yes. And I've had it for... I don't know, three weeks, four weeks, something like that. And it's been, it's just, it hasn't really fully inflated. Yeah. In the time I've had it, it just, it looks, it's, it's kind of half inflated. And I've got to the point where I've thought, okay, it's been, it's settled now. It's yeah. in relatively pretty low light at the back in yeah. a low light tank anyway. So it's, I don't think I'm killing it. So I think that, that ghoul crab might be irritating it. Okay. So I pulled it out today to, um, I got some tweezers <laughs> and I, I wanted to see if I could get in there. But the the hole that the crab has buried into is tiny. Yeah. You need I, can't, oh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it out of that. The only or way I can, the only way I can think, because I, I can't like leave room out. There's just no space. The only yeah. thing I can think, and this is, this feels awful, is to, to get a drill. <laughs> Ryan, concentrate. Sorry, I saw you oh, get I'll come a drill. Back to yeah. that. I can see it. Yeah, get yeah. a drill and drill the holes, or drill the crab, and then super glue over it, so I seal up his hole. That sounds dangerous. Uh, well, it feel I don't like it. Feel like drilling a crab. That's awful. Like no, literally, <laughs> what I would do is I'd stick a needle in there and skewer it. Or what that's, stab him? Yeah, that's what would be my advice. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to not accidentally drill through your tracky, I would stab him and leave oh. it, and then I just don't get the body. Just leave it in there, and it will just well, disintegrate. That's, I, that's, I'm thinking of super gluing up his hole. <laughs> yeah, you could, yeah, yeah. But, the only yeah. problem is then if he can't get out, he's going to start burrowing further inwards. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have a go. But anyway, uh, yeah, you were looking at the super chat from Luis yes. Aceves. Regarding Ryan's current video, have you noticed uh, fish? Oh, firstly, thank you very much for the super chat. Have you noticed any fish uh, currently being collected have been dying a lot more than before? New fish have been dying a lot more before was rare collection methods. I think he, this isn't like a, in the last couple of weeks. This yeah. means like now rather than 10 years ago. Uh, collection methods have got far better than they used mm. to be. They used to use cyanide and dynamite, basically, yeah. which is not it's not the most gentlest of approach oh. to collecting fish. Um, whereas a lot of like you, there will be some places which are still doing that. It is illegal, but there will be some places which are still doing that. Um, cyanide 
is definitely one where fish will come in and then after and they'll be fine for a period of time and then they'll just die. The thing I have noticed recently, there seems to be a lot of disease going around. Yeah. Like I talk to quite a lot of people and a lot of them go, yeah, I've got this disease in my tank at the moment. And that is, seems to be more than it was before. <laughs> I Maybe I just didn't talk to people about disease previously. I don't know. Mm. And because it happened to me, it's now being shown to me more often. Yeah, okay. Um, but it's probably this. It's probably the same amount of disease as always. I don't know. Maybe um, it, that because you've you've mentioned that a couple of times now, and that I'm I'm looking for a couple of other fish. Just okay. kind of every now and then, I, I think oh, I really like one of these, but I'm hesitating partly because I might break down my tank at some point, <laughs> but also partly because I'm thinking if I did get a fish and if there is uh, a, a bit of disease around at the moment because yeah. they all come from the same place or whatever. It's, that's a problem for me. <laughs> the one thing which I didn't put in the video today um, on quarantine, which I I did think about doing, and I and I obviously forgot, and I've now remembered it. People like you are ideal candidates for quarantining <laughs> because yeah. you have a, yeah, an yeah, established yeah. tank with loads of fish in it, and those fish, whether you like it or not, you there will be some fish in there which you, will hurt if you lose them. Um, and if you lose all of them, it will hurt even more. And if you go through the stress, I don't know if you, if you, I think you watched the video, didn't you? Yes. At the start of it, I mentioned about momentum in this hobby. And, and it's, you have to build up a certain level of resilience with positive things that happen to you in the hobby mm -hmm. to be able to deal with the negative side of things. Um, so, and obviously this doesn't apply to you, but there'll be plenty of people that have lost all the fish and then left the hobby. Whereas yeah. if they quarantine yeah. the fish, they probably would still be in the hobby. Yeah. So the, the, I mean, the, the, there's the, the 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 people. The thing that people always say is that they haven't got space for a, a quarantine tank, and I don't. It's not that I don't have space. Yeah. It's that I there, there is space in my house. Of course there is. Yeah. But there's nowhere that I would want to put it. Yeah. The places that it it would that would be perfect for it. There's other stuff if it Behind was in a community. <laughs> well, exactly behind me. There's a, a space on the floor, but I don't want a tank on the floor. There's yeah. a space next to my 3D printer, but I don't want to put it there. I could put it downstairs, but Lara wouldn't be happy with that, quite rightly. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but I, but the 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 way to I'm I'm more nervous now because it's been running for five years and everything's settled. So yeah. I'm more nervous about putting a fish in. Um, but I've got a solution to that. Just don't buy anything. <laughs> Saves so, you money as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Luis Aceves is saying that it's the same. Lost everything to velvet. Also, fish seem to be perfectly fine at eating. Then, bomb. Yeah. it's um, And someone else said that the shop seems to be riddled with ick and velvet at the moment. As I said, I, you go to more shops than me, so I don't know. But it's... I, I go to shops every weekend, and yeah. there are two or three that I go to regularly that are close to me, and I've not noticed any of that at all. Oh, actually, to be fair, I did yesterday, I did see some clownfish in. A shop, not Reef Keeper Moss End. I'll yeah. <laughs> but so I'm rounding it down there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, but, um, well, I wasn't listening, so. <laughs> no, but anyway. Um, and there were a couple of clownfish that were kind of breathing heavy. Um, but it did. Uh, had a good night. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was, that's, I don't know, that's just, that happens from time to time. Yeah. Um, but that, I've, no, that's, I've never noticed, or not, I've never noticed, I haven't noticed that for a long time i've not i've not gone into shops and been like oh my god everything looks all ill here yeah, yeah and i look out for that i do i look at the fish every every single fish basically i walk past see if i want there's something i want yeah and i've not noticed so who knows yeah well as i said it's, it's, it would have been the same always probably there will be waves of disease at different points in potentially the year or or i, I, I as i said if the, the fish will come from the same places so yeah. like, or the same, like even, in, even the importers, no, the exporters mm -hmm. are shipping all over the world. So everyone will be having the same problem. If you think about it, if they've got a disease, maybe, who knows? it's one of those things you, you just, you've got no way of actually Never knowing know, if it's no. just, if it's just, you've happened to notice or if it's a problem or if it, cause it sounds plausible, but at the same time, that could be total and utter bollocks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so, just anecdotal, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't mean anything basically. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, there's so. But anyway, that, that so the the other thing I want to talk about with gold crabs is oh no, with trackies. The yeah. other shop I went into today, Aquatic Addiction, working up. They had um, they've got some trackies in. They've got these little sort of they're they're like um, critter traps. They're like invert traps. They're just little 
plastic boxes that sit in their tanks and they've got their they're see-through they're transparent but they're really they're quite opaque they're not really see-through yeah and they have a load of trackies in there and i just lifted up the lid and the trackies look so full and healthy yeah and they must be getting 10 par <laughs> yeah trackies only, the absolute they, most. they don't like a lot of light and the other thing is they really, really don't like no low nutrients. Now, I don't know what your nutrients are in your tank, but they really don't like no low nutrients. Let me, uh, I tested two of my tanks this weekend. I don't think I tested the water box. So 27th. Now I tested. I can tell you what my calcium and magnesium is, <laughs> but I can't tell you what okay. my nutrients are. But they're unlikely to be zero. Yeah. Well, uh, that, that, the, only, the only way I've ever killed a trackie was when I bottomed out my nutrients. And I've had right, probably okay. like a hundred loads, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was actually in my thousand liter tank when I didn't realize that I was overdosing on um, Braavos. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I, t- I tested my phosphate manually today because uh, my uh, auto tester is currently Poor out you. of action. Annoying. Out of action. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, so I tested it manually. Why is it out of action? Did you still not cleaned it? It's no, I, t- I tried that. I tried that fix, but it didn't work. <laughs> So I'm speaking to support at the moment. Yeah. But it's a bit annoying. But um, but no, I had to test it manually. God. Oh. Yeah. Um, and it was 0.16, 0.14. I posted it on Instagram. I can't remember what it was now. But um, actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be because <laughs> I've not been changing my phosphate media. But I chased it to, uh, changed it today. So That's come down massively on. from where it was, though. This is not it's... your main tank, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it, the worst it was, worst in inverted commas, was 0.6 a couple of years yeah. ago. And it's always been above 0.2. Yeah. Always. Well, not always, but most of the time. And now, for the first time since I got that smart tester, albeit not working at the moment, since I got that, it's come down to not quite the level I'd like it, but um, but a good level. <laughs> and it's just going to be interesting to see. I, I think that, um, that I'm going to get better growth because I don't get spectacular growth. I get good growth. You should. But I don't get uh, amazing growth. No, I suspect phosphate. I mean, that's the obvious thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, there we go. So that is my my tracky story and my other stuff. Can't remember what we're talking about now. <laughs> I need to start doing something in the week to do with the fish that make. So I've got something to say in this segment. <laughs> you know, you've normally we've normally got you've normally got quite a lot. I usually just go up in Frank Carl's. <laughs> but ultimately, if you don't have anything to talk about, then we'll move on to the next uh, next stage. Yeah. yeah. Which is, <laughs> now you mention it, um, member questions. And okay. I just, I, I'm just, I, did I post this? Did I post that? I'm sure I did. Let's have a look. Here's the link. I did. And there are two member questions. Good. Oh, there's, one of them is a reply for me. Right. This is Andy Angel who says, uh, hi, Alex. When you started using calc, did you turn off your two-part dosing until you worked out how much calc you would be using and how much calc did you start with daily? Oh, I only answered the first part of that in, in while well, I messaged him back. Yeah. Um, so did I turn off my two-part? No, I didn't. What I did with Calcwasser was I started dosing the tiniest amount. So the first night I started dosing it, I dosed like 100 milliliters, which for calc is nothing. Yeah. It did sod all. <laughs> and I dosed that over like two hours or something. Yeah. So the next night I bumped it up and then I eventually got to the point where I dosed a liter and it, it did a little wiggle on the pH. I was like, oh, something's happening now. So you have to dose a lot. And I, yeah. I didn't do anything with my um, my uh, my uh, dosing, my two-part dosing. I was testing regularly my alkalinity. And the plan was when that started um, going up, I would stop my dosing. But that didn't ever happen because the, when I started dosing, when I got up to three liters a night or whatever uh, of Calcwasser, my pH went up so much that my alkalinity, all my corals started consuming more corals, growing faster. And so I actually more ended corals. up dosing. Sorry? You said more corals. All your corals, corals started consuming more corals. Oh, <laughs> more, more alkalinity <laughs> and calcium. I didn't even notice I said that. Yeah. Um, so they started consuming all the stuff from the water. So yeah. growing faster. And I had to dose more. I was thinking it was going to save me money as I wouldn't be dosing so much two part. Yeah. I, I ended up dosing more two more. part. More, <laughs> yeah. Like twice as much more. Two or three times. I can't remember what it was. I've done, I made videos at the time. A massive amount more. I was amazed. I think it was double. How are you so, getting no like minimal growth if you're using that much? 
Uh, oh, no, I, I'm not getting minimal growth. It's, I, the growth is good. It's just not. Yeah. Sometimes you see someone will set up a tank and then six months later, it's it's fully established. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I'm not in that. Uh, I'm not at that level. But yeah. Um, so that was. So I didn't turn off my do, my two part at all. I just built up calc gen gently and tested alkalinity regularly, which is what you need to do. And then what was the other question? And how much calc did you start uh, with daily? Really low. Just start really low because like it, I don't know how big your tank is, but if your tank is 100 liters, Start with 10 milliliters. It won't do anything. <laughs> and then yeah. test. And then the next day, make it 50. And then, uh, you know, just build up very, very slowly. Because if it takes you three weeks to get to the point where you're dosing the right amount, that's not three weeks is fine. What's wrong with that? Why is, yeah, why does it matter? Yeah. Or if it takes you two months. Do if that. it takes you <laughs> one day to kill all your tank because exactly. you put too much in, you'll yeah. be pissed. <laughs> so it's just start as low as you can bring yourself to do, basically. Yeah. And then build up um but there we go jay's real wave says he's tracky i didn't know you had a tracky i've not noticed that actually you've got gunnies and torches and stuff my tracky loves high nutrients as well yeah i suspect my nutrients are pretty high in that tank let me see what they were last time i tested them which was probably about a month ago oops uh 0.29 phosphate and six nitrate actually do you know what let me tell you the average so the average whoa <laughs> the average for that tank is phosphate of 0 0.49 0 and this is date this is from the start of the year how and do you get away with this nitrate of 17 so to be fair i i had really high um nitrate issue uh, sorry phosphate at the start so actually that's skewed because i've got loads and loads of um uh, of phosphate tests day day after day basically yeah so it skews the average. So that's probably not a good average. But anyway, the, the it's currently probably below. It's definitely below 0 0.3, but not, I don't know, not much. <laughs> I, I don't um, know. You get away with it, basically. <laughs> no, I know. Well, you know. Magic. I mean, that's an LPS tank. But to be fair, it'd probably be better if it had lower phosphate. People are going to be starting doing the reef dog method. And that basically just means ignoring your phosphate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Just get as much phosphate in your tank as you can. Yeah. Oh. But there we go. And Carlos Lopez, thanks for the super chat. Five bucks. I think frog, frog, frogfish, frogfish are boring for me as they just lay there. I like moving it in my tank. Well, Carlos, I disagree with you. <laughs> I like <laughs> frogfish. So. I completely well. So we'll come on to the list of uh, of um, of boring fish. You bet uh, I have frogfish on there because I'll fight you on that one. But they are. I don't. I don't think. I don't know if I'd say they're boring. No, they're weird. But they are definitely. I don't want them. I don't like them. Yeah. But they're not. They're. They're. I think they're interesting, but they're. They're certainly ugly. Yeah. But yeah. I, yeah I, I'm, I'm not going to argue with someone. Um, if, that's just uh, super. If, gave you a super chat. <laughs> yeah. No. No. I'm not going to argue with someone if they're saying they're boring because I don't necessarily disagree. Well, um, okay. but there you go. So that is the uh, the 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 the, the uh, what's it? Oh my god, get your put your teeth in, Alex. That is the member questions. <laughs> that your mug looks like ganja, by the way. Yeah, you said is that, that before. Duncan, have yeah, I? It just green yeah. Duncan Carl. I've yeah, never yeah, seen yeah. a Duncan Carl this color, which means it's probably definitely photoshopped. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, or, or it's uh, it's ganja. Um, yeah. so now we move on to the Facebook page. And they've the Facebook done this weird thing this week where so I normally go on the engagement, the reach of each post yeah, and yeah, I yeah. pull up the most popular ones. For like one in three posts, it tells me today I went on for one in three posts, it tells me what the engagement is. For the rest, it doesn't. Okay. So it was really difficult for me to know what uh, was popular and what wasn't. Yeah. But there were two that were popular. So I pulled them out. One was this uh, someone was asking, this guy was asking for an ID on this crab. Yeah. And the best guesses were gorilla crab. I was going to uh, say that's what I'd say it was. Yeah. And uh, whatever it is, uh, it's hard to say from that photo. And it's not as hairy as uh, as gorilla crabs normally are. You just don't want it. <laughs> but whatever, it, that is a sump crab for sure. Yeah. He, he will love living in the sump. Yeah. He, and I would not want him in my uh, in my main tank. <laughs> uh, and I would be fine putting him in the sump. I wouldn't feel like he's going to escape and get into the I've, main tank. I've found massive gorilla crabs in like in a in like an acro uh, before oh, really? yeah like big big ones and it must have been and i hadn't had carls in for months so it must have been there for ages and i just never noticed it oh, and yeah. it, it didn't do anything i didn't notice anything it was doing noticeably if you see what i mean definitely gorilla crabs not acro crabs no this was this was matt i know what acro crab is you see them quite yeah. often but this yeah. was massive and hairy <laughs> and yeah, like okay. black almost it was like That's... a really dark one 
the acro crabs are the other really common crab that you get on acropora of course yeah that is what an acro crab looks like they've got one big claw and then a stripe across that and they're 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 good they're wicked i love them they're really cool you do get other other colored ones of those as well like yeah but yeah yeah you get various ones but that's like the typical one in fact here we go there's this guy (laughs) looks like is that an acro crab maybe um but yeah they're 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 really do you ever get them in you don't really get sps those little crabs you get in yeah quite often on when when um because usually with an indonesian box you get like i don't know 80 percent lps and then like 20 percent sps and it's not unusual to get those crabs on the on the sps all the time if you next time you get a um what's it called uh uh uh, uh, acro crab in yeah tell me and i will be there within five seconds really i love them absolutely i'm surprised you haven't got them because they're not that hard to come across uh no i i did have one but he disappeared oh so i don't know if he got eaten by a a rat or something um jay mate my application is pending i hope i'm not barred i've just had a look this is for the facebook group i can't see your application you should it should be accepted automatically if your if your page has been if your facebook page has been um live for two years you get accepted automatically so uh, I don't know. Uh, are acro crabs good or bad? They're good. Good, yeah. They're, they're actually meant, lot... to, they're meant to provide benefit, like to be not just like neutral. They're meant to be actually beneficial for the coral. Lot, yeah, lots of people report that they're that coral, the acro colonies with an acro crab in it, yeah. look better than uh, than ones that don't have. Yeah. So well, yeah. next one I get, I'll um I'll let you yeah, have it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and the next thing, the only other thing from the the Facebook page that was uh, like a find that was popular, was this guy doing his tests with his cat. That cat, by the way, looks like a bloody wild cat. <laughs> like, yeah. It looks like it's bloody. You've seen his eyes as well. Who is? Is it that? It says Shamila Butters. Yeah, uh, I think uh, that's Shamila Butters' husband or partner. Oh. Uh, that's not the name of the cat. Yeah, it's no, a good that. name for cat. Actually, think about it. Um, but he's so he's doing his um, his weekly testing, and for some reason, um, that was really popular. So there you go, reach of nine hundred seventy-seven. That was the most popular post for the last week. Everyone's like, "What? People actually do that?" It's We're... probably because it's got a cat in it. Yeah, <laughs> people love cats. That looks like a that looks like a jungle cat, like a wild cat to me. He's cool. He looks like he's got. He looks like a looks like a wizard's cat. Don't know anything about cats. It, cats so my cat's just a moggy yeah um i like cats they're a little bit different like that very cool anyway nice cat <laughs> um, and well done on your testing lots of people put messages in the chat when they uh, I, I see when i watch this the next day yeah um lots of people say uh, hi guys i'm just doing my test or whatever i love that <laughs> see, see i when i do testing for my tanks i listen to other things on youtube but not yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, so do I. <laughs> so I see why people would listen to us yeah yeah it's cool it's and it, it makes me do it as well because like if there's a, a particular time when i've got nothing to do and i'm just watching a live stream or whatever yeah i might i think well you don't you don't need it's not like if you've got like a five minute video on quarantine for example you need yeah. to concentrate to watch that but if you've got a two hour it was, it was seven stream, minutes just so you know but seven fine. minutes if you've got one or two hour live stream or whatever you don't need to listen to everything but the, the people say so yeah and most of it's gibberish well yeah half <laughs> literally 50 percent of it 50% gibberish, and the other like 50% we're not even sure how, is how accurate it is. <laughs> <laughs> the other 50% is you. That's not very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so that is the that's the Facebook question. I, I hope it does pull it up, um, pull it up better next week because I want more than uh, there must have been more than two posts that were really good. Yeah, and it yeah. just wasn't showing me what term was popular and what wasn't. But anyway. Yeah. And that means that we are on to, is there a Prestige Reef Fish of the Week this week? You've not told no, me. No, because I've got 10 fish for this. So oh, okay. So I didn't specifically. Uh, I should I should just pick a boring one, shouldn't I? Off my list. We can start no, the list no, now no, if you no, want. No. no, no, no cheating. Is there a Prestige Reef Coral of the Week? Uh, no. You told That's me to do some homework, so I did homework on other things. Bloody hell, Ryan. All right. Well, in that case, we're going to have to how about we do? The... How about we do a Reef Dog Coral of the Week? No. No, I'm not a professional coral keeper. Can't be bothered to think about no, it, can you? Um, is, this is this is an opportunity. This is okay. This I'm, gonna is... Go, I'm gonna go green, a pink tipped torch coral, green with pink tips. There you go. That's what yeah. came in the other day. Actually, a, actually, yeah. bubble coral. That's what I'm gonna go for. No, too late. Two... You have to take your first answer. No, there are two different types of bubble corals. 
one of them you don't see that often, which is the ones with the really, really big bubbles. And I have had two come in. Uh, one of them's like quite big mm -hmm. uh, of the other type of viral corals, which would have the really small balls on them. That's the one, small balls. That's the one I've got. It looks like you would be forgiven for thinking it's a bubble tip anemone mine. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, when I bought it, when it was in the shop, it was like it was tiny. Yeah. And I was like, I bet that'll inflate when I get it home. Yeah. And it never has. I've had it for months. Oh, <laughs> That's really? just what it is, yeah. Well, my it's one got... One. I, I put it in the coral trays because the, the order didn't arrive until like nine o'clock at night. For some, normally it comes at four in, the, four in the afternoon. And I was like, where is my order? Because <laughs> obviously these boxes cost thousands. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I put it. I put the um, the bubble coral in and thinking I would put it far enough away from the uh, the frog spawns. And uh, I it wasn't far enough away. But they're touching each other and they're fine. So okay. the next morning they were fine. Both of them, it, they didn't seem to have stung each other at all. The only thing I don't like about bubble corals, or the only thing that put, this is the first ever one I've had. Yeah. But the thing that puts me off is how big they get. There are two YouTubers yeah. anyway. There's, have you seen um, Queen of Reefs bubble coral? Bubble monster, she calls it. I have not. Don't take offense, Stephanie. He doesn't watch my channel either. I uh, have you seen Mogsy's bubble coral? I, I have not. <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> don't they're both... sense, Moxie. I, I don't watch anything. He doesn't watch else. anything. But there's, so there's, they're, they're both bloody massive, basically. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you have there. a normal job that you go to and then you get to ab appreciate other people's tanks. I don't want to, to appreciate other people's tanks after spending all day appreciating my tank. <laughs> so Sorry. that's the reason I don't watch YouTube videos about coral and fish because it would probably drive me insane. <laughs> yeah. But either way, so bubble corals, they get massive. I mean, yeah. all corals do, don't they? My leptoceris is, a, is an example. Yeah. But um, but they, they just, yeah, so actually that's that's a, a silly thing to take because all corals get big. Yeah. But so, I, like, I know what you mean. Can you flag a bubble coral though? I think you can. You probably can. But it's like one one head, right? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it has yeah, lots of know. mouths along, along okay. it. Similar to a caterphilia, I think. Because I've had it where a bubble coral has died, like half it died, and it, and the other half lived, and yeah. I've had that with caterphilias as well. So but any coral where you've got to cut through flesh, oh, oh that's yeah, that's beyond what I would be comfortable fracking. Oh, if, if it's just I'm breaking the skeleton, it. cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I think I think you. So that's the thing. Like if you've got a massive, if you've got a chalice that gets huge, no problem. Yeah. Frag it and sell it. <laughs> yeah. If you've got a bubble coral that gets big problem <laughs> yeah because yeah you can't yeah and you need to find someone with a bigger tank that wants it <laughs> yeah and so, uh, i can't think says don't all corals get huge yeah they do they, I, th Monty, for example. I think the, the reason this appears to get huge though is because a tropic under a, a tropic thunder monty grows flat against the rock this grows like as a ball outwards so it's got yeah. a different dimension to it which is why it appears bigger that um video the other day z z frank yes that showed how corals grow it's really interesting never i've, I've never yeah, thought yeah. about it but it was just it was really interesting i remember um, it but I, don't, I don't remember what what was said no it was just, it was just cool i can't, oh, I can't remember jay i watch all of your videos so don't, don't he said he said ryan come on no yeah i watch all of your videos jay you've got a lovely yeah. track in them yeah bastard <laughs> um uh, and uh because uh jay this is you know a niche post but because jay can't see the um there you go by the way see no i'm not lying no um no reach yeah. anyway uh, uh jay uh, jay wanted to see les's tracky there it is <laughs> and for some reason he's not allowed in the facebook group where so facebook is weird every now and then you block i can't i went I, a couple of days ago i went i went to find the red sea group a red sea facebook group and i went on there and I couldn't find it. When you search, it doesn't exist. Yeah. So I, I opened an incognito tab, so I'm not signed into Facebook. Yeah. And then I search for it, and it appears. <laughs> they don't want you there. So, so why... either I've been banned, <laughs> yeah, probably. or there's something going on. But I don't, I didn't, I, I don't think I've ever posted on there. So I'd be surprised if I've been banned. But Facebook does weird. YouTube does weird stuff as well. It blocks weird comments for no reason. And yeah, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, but um anyway oh we got a quick question from steve webb before we go on to the news ryan have you ever uh, had torch corals kill each other i have four corals all in one area three died not That's that i am aware of probably just because co torch corals are I was, <laughs> I was told now i don't know if this is factually correct 
that tiger torches are a different type of torch to the other torches. They look different. They do look different. Fatter and, polyps, kind of. Yes, and there are, there are some other torches which have those sort of like shorter, fatter polyps on them. So I wonder if, if those could be potentially different. Um, but generally speaking, no, I haven't had it. All, all of my torches all, uh, all touch each other, and it's they're all having a great mm -hmm. time. <laughs> yeah, I bet they are. Now, torches sometimes. So I've got three torches here, for example. One is two. The two are there. Two of them are. I think they're the same. They're, they're Hellfire. And what's the other one that looks like Hell? Dragon Soul. Dragon Soul. Yeah. But you I think they're the same? <laughs> I can't. I, I might. Like, they might both be Dragon Soul. I can't. I'm sure I bought one as one and the other as the other. Yeah. And they both look the same to me. And the other yeah. one is the um, the green and yellow one. Was it Holy Grail, which is actually really nice, to be fair. Yeah. And they're all. They, they've been next to each other for a while i've now put them on a rock well not a, it's a 3d printed rock 3d printed torch island um but they're fine <laughs> and i've never had oh i was gonna say i've never had problems with torches touching each other but i've i've only had um torches together a couple of times to be fair but torches die because they're dicks basically <laughs> yeah, i i literally hate torches everyone loves torches but i just i don't get the attraction i don't like don't you know they're pretty coral but they're just like if something dies in my tank I want there to be a bloody reason it died, yeah. <laughs> not not for like for some bacterial thing that I can't see. <laughs> that that came that, from that's what else. bothers. That's why I don't like them as well. They're yeah. actually so some of them like like if that Holy Grail torch is a really nice torch, yeah, and it cost me two hundred fifty quid for two heads. Yeah, that's a lot of money, yeah. but it's not like mental money. I've seen that one before. Like when I was looking a while ago, a year or two ago, it's like a thousand quid for a single head. Yeah, that's insane. For, yeah. That's just ridiculous. But it's a really nice coral. But what puts me off because they look lovely, but what puts me off is that they die. They're just for no reason. And it's like, yeah. but they, so we were talking. Um, early, like I, I text Ryan uh, earlier this week to say what the stream was about. And I was like, uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about the effects of bacteria on coral reefs. I don't know anything about it, so you've got to do all the research. Yeah. And I was <laughs> like, oh, good. <laughs> as a hilarious joke, because, you know, uh, that's the kind of but, but, cracker I am. What sort of a co-host am I, though? What did I immediately start doing? Started doing my research. No, you I'm, didn't. Because I'm a good boy. <laughs> so. um, all right. Tell us about bacteria. But anyway, I, I, it was very <laughs> short. <laughs> it didn't last long. But the, but with but bacteria, and we were talking about this just before the stream started. Yeah. Like I don't. I lots of people are talking about bacteria at the moment. I don't really get into that. I I want to know. I don't want to know about the journey so much with that sort of thing. I want to know when people have worked it out. Yeah. So I don't. I I don't have an opinion on it at the moment because some people dose bacteria, don't they? Reef bum does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, experienced guy. Uh, yeah. With a nice tank. But the, that that is kind of bacterial problems seems to be the thing that we don't understand and i it yeah. must be that must be something that to do with torches must suffer from that it's, it's, <laughs> it's also definitely something which is um for, for something like someone like me or or someone with a with a big tank of euphilia it's that's one of the most frightening things because every time i get a new box of euphilia i might be introducing something or every time i like frag them or anything like that you could wipe out your entire colony of not just that specific one, but everything else of that of a similar type in the tank, because it spreads yeah. very quickly from one to the other. Mm. So, if if ever you well look, people don't have to trust me with regards to this, but if ever you have a coral that's like a torch coral and it starts to get like brown jelly on it, you might as well throw it away, in no my way. opinion. Yeah. If, if you if, look, if you've got no other to fr uh, torches or frog spawns or hammers in there, give it a go. But generally speaking, if you've got other stuff you want to keep, get rid of the dead one, the, the bad one immediately. I often do that, uh, not straight away, but if, if it's on its way out and it's been on its way out for a while and it's shriveled to the point that I, I know it's going to die, I often get rid of it yeah. because I, I wonder if whatever is on it that is killing it is going to move on when it's killed that like, completely. Yes, yeah. And that might be total rubbish, but it sounds plausible, doesn't it? And and if it's going to die anyway, what's the point? Plus, you've got a load of followers, so people will just believe you. <laughs> people will just follow me blindly. Well, maybe. But, um, but no, I'd, uh, but yeah, I'd, I've, I've looked into, I started looking into, I was going to buy some oxalinic acid recently. Um, right. so there, uh, what's, I, so I don't, I don't really know what it does, but I wanted to, I heard a few people talking about it and it was kind of, it, it's, it, it can be like, I think, and this is 
probably wrong. <laughs> I think it's some kind of, it can be an antibacterial or something like that. Okay. And I was going to get some because it's actually quite cheap. Okay. Oxolinic, O-X-O-L-Y-N-I-C, something like that. Oxolinic acid. You can you can buy it from APC, the bulk um, chemical company in the UK, same place I yeah. get calc, calc plus, and it's dirt cheap. So I was going to buy it and just experiment. But the trouble is, I don't really want to experiment. <laughs> there, was, there was someone who was doing that, a YouTuber that I watched that was doing that. Is that the KFC dip? Maybe. Because so Reef did, the, did, day, did, did the, um, the Kung Fu um, corals dip, which was, I don't think it was oxalinic acid. It might have been, but it, that was the, um, what's the, the, the stuff that um, they get in the States all the time? You can't get over here. Ciprofluxin. Cipro, yeah, Cipro. I got some. Uh, and, and a few other things. Yeah, you've got some. I but, actually uh, do. <laughs> there, but, uh, and Polo, my mate, was talking about, um, he does yeah. all sorts of stuff, of course, Cipro, various things. Yeah, yeah. So he's worth uh, looking at because I, I uh, he's just he's just worth watching <laughs> i can't but, remember this yeah. it's really annoying me it's the guy who was fragging scully someone someone will, in the comments will know he was using that that acid stuff oh yes what's his face um chummingham's reef yes yes he was using it. i'm sure he was using it yeah like in all those videos i watched uh, yes he did a live stream with reef dudes recently reef dudes? okay or frank um, anyway i can't remember but yeah uh yeah he did one with frag garage adam from the canadian guy I, I just know he did a he did a um uh like a yeah he did a video with someone and i saw yeah. that he was using that and i thought oh i'll look into that see if i can get some that's, here but you obviously right. did ah but the tra- i just I, I put it on my shopping list i was waiting to get paid <laughs> okay which is ridiculous because because it's cheap <laughs> but but the thing is i'll have a shopping list of like 100 things i want and if they're all a tenner that's a thousand pounds anyway um i, I had a, a list i was waiting for it and i had it on my list and then i got paid and i was like do you know what the only time I, I I don't want to do it. <laughs> like, no, I love I the idea you. of experimenting. No, but I, don't, I don't want to just experiment for the sake of it. I think if I had a torch that was on its way, and I don't know, if, like for whatever it whatever it cures, if yeah. I had that that was on its way out, I'd probably yeah. do it to see. But I don't want. No, to I, I, I agree with you. Or... It's not as far as I'm concerned. People should stop experimenting. <laughs> just just. <laughs> Yeah, but watch how the people. I love that people experiment. Like BRS do loads of experiments all the time. Yeah, and I love that they do that. It's just I don't. Trouble is, it's very easy when they start when they show you something. It's very easy. Oh, that sounds good. I'll try that. Whereas really, yeah. what you should do is say, "I'm going to sit back and wait for twelve months." But that's yeah. difficult, isn't it? And see how they get on. But um, so I love I love people experimenting. I just I just don't want to be the person who does experimenting on my own tank. <laughs> yeah, you, you also love it when it goes wrong. It wasn't on your tank. <laughs> Yeah, I'll complete it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Learn from other people's mistakes. Don't make the mistakes yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, but did you see? Actually, do you know what? We will talk about um, the the BRS video, but we can do it as part of the news. I did. Right. Burned. Ryan didn't watch it. Uh, Reef says, "Are you sure? Uh, what is cheap? Not oxalic acid. Oxalic? No, it was definitely oxalic." Um, oxalinic is very, very expensive. Anyway, um, so we are on to the news. Oxalinic acid. Uh, no, it was definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. You know what? I think I Googled it and it was the same. It was the different one. Oh. So you, I, should, I bet you're really glad you didn't experiment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you know what? I bet you're right, you know, Briefkeeper. Good spot. Excellent spot, in fact. Because yeah. the, fir- the ones that come up are oxalic acid oxalic acid dehydrate yeah and that's the sort of thing that when you glance at it it looks the same ah oh, interesting very interesting and oxalinic acid doesn't look very easily accessible at all in fact all of the shopping results are oxalic are acid oh dude o- the only one for oxalinic acid this is for 25 grams of the stuff yeah guess how much 25 grams is 150 pounds 492 pounds oh my god that, one yeah, gram see. 108 pounds you can see why people are not experimenting with that <laughs> okay so what i was looking at was a hundred percent oxalic acid yeah excellent thank you reef keeper excellent spot there you go crazy oh um, all right aren't I'm, you I'm glad? <laughs> well i wouldn't have just poured it in willy nilly i suspect i would have noticed it after i bought it or when i went to click through those shopping yeah i just yeah. clicked it. anyway but yeah god uh yeah so anyway what was i gonna say yeah so news so you didn't watch the um the brs video this week it was the nano tank one wasn't it yeah i That's start like, i think i got like a minute in i have like the attention span of a goldfish 
Yeah. And I think I got about a minute. I don't know what it is. I have loved many, many of their videos. Mm. This season just isn't doing it for me. Maybe when they've got stuff in it and it's and it's like the more the results bit, I'll be more interested. But not this. But yeah, for whatever reason, it's just not for me. The thing, you're not alone in that, actually. Bulk reef supply. I looked at, um, I've not done this for a few weeks, so maybe they're better. But I looked at the, the numbers on their their views on these videos recently. Let me share the screen with that. Yeah. And so where's the where's the first episode? The first episode got like 100,000 views. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah. 186,000, in fact. And it was just an introduction saying we're going to do this, which is mental. It's because everyone then, was excited. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then second one, 31,000 views. That's not bad. Third one, 24. Fourth one was a weird live stream. And then fifth, fifth week, 15,000. Sixth week, 16,000. Seventh week, 14,000, et cetera, et cetera. And that's, that's good numbers for many channels, including my own. But for yeah. a channel of BRS's size, it's not very good. And it's not really picked up as yet. So yeah. as, like, people haven't picked it up. People aren't really watching it in the, the droves like you might expect. I liked the other one this week, actually. Um, I like, And I'm glad that they're doing it now, no because they're really popular. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I wasn't going to talk about that, to be fair. But it's weird. I wonder why people don't. People obviously aren't into it. Because like this, like when this was on first time round, it was like you were glued. Everyone was glued to it, and now it's yeah, like they were, every episode was different. Yeah, every episode of this is the same. It's, it's going. Just, this, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. So episode one, we've got this a thousand liter tank. Episode two, we've got this four hundred liter tank. Episode three, we've got this forty liter tank, and then episode one, it's like these are the lights we're using. It's like it's not. As well. So when they did it before, it was like, hey, this is what you need to know about lighting. Whereas now it's like, hey, this is what we think is going to work. This is our theory on it. It feels yeah. more like it's not this unproven theory, but I don't know. No, just... it's, it, as I said, literally, it was right. This is the tank, and this is what why we picked this tank, and this is why this yeah. tank is the best size tank for a beginner. Exactly. And then it's like, right, this is the lights we're going to use. So we're not talking about the tank Same anymore. Same on the last tank. <laughs> we're, now, we're now on the lights. And then and this, and then is, this the is the skimmer. And this yeah. is the, yeah, yeah. And this is what skimmers do. Whereas they're trying to do, I don't, it just, I lose interest with them quite quickly. I'm not sure why. I, and, but I just do. <laughs> I, I don't, they're not, I don't know. They're, they're not, I don't know. They're just not doing, they're not doing that well. There's something about them. Yeah. Uh, and I think it will pick up. Yeah. Because um, well, well, at the moment well, it's just a setup. It's just as in, as in, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. So. It's the Chromis one. That's the one I, you know, that I'm actually most interested in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the rest of them, I reckon they'll have success with most of the other ones, but the Chromis one I'm definitely most interested in. There was a live stream. They talked about that the other day, and they, they're not going to do um, – uh, we might have talked about this before. They're not going to do a small grouper. Oh, they're doing a proper one. Big-ass grouper in there. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. he's like, we're going to see if it works. Yeah. I give it, anyway. I give it three days before all those fish are gone. <laughs> that was not in the news. There's, there's a few things in the news this week. Firstly, Ryan, what are, what are the things you test every week? Calcium, alkalinity, yeah. not every week, but most of the time, magnesium, uh, nitrate, phosphate. That's it. Anything? And salinity, and obviously temperatures all the time being tested. Yeah, so te yeah, so we'll exclude uh, salin uh, temperature because it's a, yeah. like a, it's a running thing. Yeah, yeah. And salinity, fair enough. Mastertronic are bringing out a device that tests all five of those, not salinity, okay. but it tests alkalinity calcium magnesium nitrate and phosphate okay it's called this is completely passed me by it's called the Al uh, mastertronic essential and th there was a video about it um the other day this has been announced a while ago i just didn't notice it yeah uh but they're saying so the current one the mark the is massive mastertronic yeah yeah costs 1200 quid and it, t it tests various other things as well but it's huge this one does all of that they say it's going to be cheaper i would reckon around a grand maybe and they say it's going to be smaller Okay. I didn't have a problem with the price as much, but the size I did. Yeah, it was massive. It's huge. If this is smaller, that sounds interesting. I've seen people with them have them like sitting next to their tank, and you're just like, it looks yeah. like you've got this beautiful reef tank, and then there's just this box, which is orange, so it stands out. <laughs> it's not like it's black. Yeah, yeah. I would be, if I was d d like designing something which people are going to have to have next to their tank, I'd try to make it look like it fit in. <laughs> I reckon well, that they they anticipate people. Most people would have that in their cabinet, so I would. I wouldn't want yeah, it on display. My missus would go crazy. Yeah, but they're massive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I could fit one of those in the water box stand. Yeah, maybe. 
but maybe the uh, the Mastertronic Essential is uh, the answer to all your problems. Maybe. I'm interested. In I'm going to look out for it to see when it comes out. But the, the trouble is, I don't know how much it's going to cost. I don't know when it's released. I just know that it's a thing. So yeah. if you haven't heard of Mastertronic Essentials, now you have. The next thing uh, that was in the news was the Lionfish Challenge. Have you heard of this? They go out and kill a load of lionfish, don't they? Yeah, there's an yeah. annual uh, thing in Florida where they have, the, it's called the uh, Lionfish Challenge. I think it goes for four months, is it? It, it lasts, I think, basically all summer. Uh, and the competition, yeah, this year, guess how many lionfish they caught? Well, if it wasn't like 15 million, I think that's how many eggs one lionfish gives yeah, out. <laughs> exactly. Well, there were 281 people took part. Okay. How many lionfish do you think they caught between them? Mm, 200 i'm gonna say ten thousand thirty thousand oh that's important and it's a 917 dive trips yeah over a four month period Thirty thousand four hundred ninety four invasive lionfish removed from florida state waters how this is people, weird how many people were in it 281 I'm just, you're trying to just, work out how many i'm trying to work out what it is yeah well, there was one guy who caught 1200 pounds of lionfish it's 106 each that's yeah, and that's six. This one guy caught six hundred kilos of the bastards. There was another guy who caught one and a half thousand on his own. <laughs> yeah, and, but, but this is a this is a weird story because that's that's a good news story. Yeah, and, and this photo is like a good photo, but it's like there's there's it's basically two men holding a box of fish that they've slaughtered, and it's kind of like <laughs> it's weird. It's like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, just so you know, I've just Googled it quickly. Uh, yeah. A lionfish has 15,000 eggs. So, yeah, so that's. <laughs> so I don't think they put well a very big them. dent into the. the but they don't, all, they don't all equal them. Um, uh, thing. But anyway, that just that was. It's weird because it's like a load of fish, people killing fish. Yeah. Which for someone like us, sounds weird, sounds bad. But yeah. it's, a, it's a good thing because it's good for the environment there. I still, I'm not overly fond. Like, I don't know why. I, I'm not overly fond of it. But, no, there's something weird I don't like, but at the same time, it's a good thing. It's the and same 30, as when you, it's the same as when you see um like uh like a Soho tang on someone's plate in like a tribe yeah, somewhere yeah, or yeah. something, and you're like, I'm not sure how I feel about that. And he's and the guy's just like, This is my dinner. <laughs> it's food, yeah. It's the same as cod. It's yeah, no different. Um, but the, the only thing with that story is it didn't say how many uh lionfish they estimate are in the Florida Keys or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I'm Have guessing no, I haven't actually. That's a good point. But I'm guessing that's a drop in the ocean. How many lion fish in Florida? It's not come. It's not come up quickly, so you might be able to find it. Oh no. Uh, yeah, it just it just talks about um, how many they remove. Uh, there's, there's no. There's probably no way of estimating that. No. But I do. I wonder if that's just like so few that it doesn't. It, you know. It's, it's, but it's good. It's good that they're doing it. It's cool. I think that's good. The only way that they're ever going to uh, eliminate, which they won't eliminate introduce that problem, predators. but manage that problem is either. Well, I don't. You can't introduce predators that only lionfish. Probably no. they'll probably eat all the other fish too. Is if we start eating them like on an industrial yeah, yeah. scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly. the only solution. <laughs> fish them to extinction. Extinct. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've yeah. we've done it with many creatures across the world anyway. So why couldn't we do it? With lionfish, but and they are trying only to get lionfish were delicious. They actually are meant to be delicious. Apparently, really? they are. All meant fish to be taste delicious. the same. Oh, that's I a controversial statement. Fish, You're a but... vegetarian, vegetarian fish for God's sake. What's no, wrong with you? A pescatarian. <laughs> What's the difference? Um, a pescatarian eats fish. <laughs> I know, I'm only joking. Sorry. <laughs> um, I did, uh, but yeah, so uh, all, all fish taste the same, basically, in my opinion. I've had fish from like a fancy restaurant. Yeah, it tastes the exact same. Oh, look at you going to fish. fancy restaurants. Oh yeah, I'm a big yeah. dog. Yeah, but uh, and you but you buy a, a like a, a slab of cod from your local supermarket. Tastes the same. Yeah. It's just how much garlic do they put on it? Basically, that's all the yeah. flavouring fish. I'm probably a philistine, but I can't imagine that I would like the taste of fish. I don't. I don't think I've ever eaten it, but I can't imagine I'd like the taste of fish. It's just I've smelt it. And I'm just like, why would anyone put that in their mouth? <laughs> We're gonna move on. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Because it's going to go downhill. Um, but uh, Donna Benson is asking if you have Space Invader Pectinia. I, I feel like you had one a while ago, didn't you? I have a Pectinia of some sort, uh, but it's not that colour. 
Okay. Um, it was that color at one point, but it's now not that color, which means it's obviously I've had it for probably a year now. Um, but it's it's turned more orange than it is um, yellow. But it's quite it's got it's a big piece. It's like this, so it's not like a little frag. Yeah. Okay. So I bought mine. I've got one, and I bought it from Signature Frags. It's not cheap, but they've yeah. still got. I've just I'm on his website now. He's got uh, seven or eight in stock. 175 quid, and you don't get a massive frag. Yeah, I really... should move mine to make it color up so I can sell it. Yeah. And then I've got a big bit. <laughs> it's a really nice coral and it's kept its color. So 175 quid, have a think about it. Save. Sell sell yeah. some, I don't know, Monty or Zine or something. <laughs> You're talking to me. Oh, I don't want it. No, I'm talking to um I was uh, the say. Who it, whose name I've forgotten, Donna. Um, but yeah, they're really nice. They're really nice. I've wanted one for a while. And I, I in the end, I, I was always put off by how expensive it was. And I was yeah. just like, do you know what? I can either buy 10 crap corals that I don't like or one that I really like. And I went for the one. There you go. And I do not regret it. It's lovely. Um, anyway, and do they all end up eating those um, lionfish? Probably not, I would guess. Uh, they are trying. I, I know that they are trying to get lionfish properly on the menu. As in, it is on the menu. There's yeah. no reason it wouldn't be. Um, but I think they are. there are some restaurants which are actively pushing it. How would you catch them though? Because like, if you, like, because that's gonna like, if if you've got to send someone out to catch them with a spear, yeah, they're going to be expensive. If you can just chuck a net down and trawl up a thousand, that's going to be cheap. So that must be one of the limiting factors. Well, it, yeah, I assume so. But if you think about they it, they caught they caught thirty thousand of them. If they yeah. could, at the moment they caught them for free. Actually, I think they pay the divers. Per, oh, do they? Cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they pay them per fish or per pound or something. Yeah, you'd have to give me 10 quid per fish. <laughs> yeah. Make it, anyway, whatever. Have you ever watched... See, it's interesting for a vegetarian to say this. I, for some reason, have been... Like, I'm never going to do it, and so I never will do it. But something inside me wants to go spearfishing. I don't know why. I think it's because I watched Survivor, and they do it on that. And I was like, yeah, I reckon I could do that. <laughs> My cousin's gone spearfishing, does it fairly regularly in the... Yeah. English Channel, which is bloody freezing. Oh, I wouldn't want to go um, there. somewhere cool. <laughs> well, you know, but it sounds cool. Sounds like good fun. Yeah. But it doesn't appeal to me. I don't think, like, I, I think it's cool and I admire people who do it. It's a cool activity. Yeah. But for whatever reason, it just, I don't know, I don't fancy it. See, as I said, for some reason, for me, I I would never do it because I would feel guilty probably. It's just, it's just who I am, and yeah, I wouldn't yeah. eat it. So, what's the point of me chasing a fish to go kill it? It's just, just, just kill it. It's ruin its day. It's basically. just, it's the, the hunter gather in me. Apparently, <laughs> you got an instinct, yeah. But I've always um, just thought that looks like it would be interesting to see how difficult it would be to do. Yeah, do you reckon you could do it with like an, a Nerf gun <laughs> so the fish gets away? <laughs> I mean, the fish would get away, yeah, but <laughs> you might as well just take a water pistol down there. But... Yeah, true. Um, there's uh, news that has just broken, and this is James uh, asking what people what do people think of the new refactory app? He says, I'm not a fan personally, you haven't got it, of course. No. Um, I think I like it, but I feel like they haven't com they haven't committed. So, part of it is new, and the new bit looks nice, looks good, yeah. but there is when you go into it, you then click on a different page and it takes you back to the old app, so it feels like a bit of a mishmash to me. Um, but I was I was worried about it because when whenever whenever Cumbie updates something and does a full refresh, yeah, it's like ah, oh, don't make it worse because the refresh app is brilliant. People don't like, like change either. No, completely. And if you change everything and then I've got to look everywhere else and it's a pain, oh, I don't want it. But they didn't, and that didn't happen. I, when I downloaded it, it was fine, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I feel like they need to commit to going full on about it. Uh. Anyway, news. Right, so Lionfish Challenge. Master Tonic Essentials we've done. Aquadom. You remember that enormous uh, cylindrical tank that blew up in Germany? Yes, yeah, I saw that. I saw this. Yes, so there's been a, an investigation by prosecutors. So presumably this is like a public health thing. And when in Germany, when that sort of thing happens, they need to do an investigation. There's yeah. been an investigation and it concluded that there was no blame, basically. No one, no one was, they couldn't pinpoint any, any fault. Yeah, they said there are a couple of things that might have um, been a problem. Uh, the, they said the adhesive might have failed the glue. Yeah. Secondly, there was a big dent in the base of the aquarium when it was modernised a few years ago. Probably not and... wise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or just who does ignore that big dent? <laughs> I just, I can't be. You know, what's the worst that can happen? And then they said thirdly, the tank may have been refilled too late 
after that modernization. Yeah. So the so the, the glue dried out or whatever. So the, you can tell uh, yes. that was in Germany, can't you? And it wasn't in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if it no, no, as in if it was in America, someone will be blamed. It was oh, I see. Yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. do you like so, a bit of litigation. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so so no one was to blame, uh, and they dropped it. They did say that no foul play was never suspected. There was never any suspicion of that. But uh, and there's uh, there's no plans to rebuild it. Perhaps yeah, I saw that. I was like, that's a bit of a shame. It's a, it is a shame, but God, it would have been expensive. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, true. And more news. More news, Ryan. More news. Is a new fish has been discovered. Oh, yeah. We love these when they're like, they're usually really boring. <laughs> it's not only is it going to be really boring. Yeah. It's not a fish. Okay. It's a squid. It's getting worse. <laughs> but it's cool. So this is on uh, Ultramarine tiny. magazine website. Yeah, do you know how big that is? So Not these are, these are these are pygmy squids uh, in Okinawa, yeah, Japan. Twelve millimeters is the biggest one they found. It's half an inch. No wonder they've only just found them. They're tiny. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. They actually look quite cool. They actually look a bit like cuttlefish, I think. Yeah. Rather than because squid have normally got longer googly bits whatever they're called <laughs> yeah i'm pretty scientific. sure that's the official scientific term uh researchers are knocking our uh, shorter googly bits yeah it is googly bits fact <laughs> yeah, <Cool>. yeah. <laughs> um but yeah they uh it's you know it's um that's that to me is more interesting than a crap um goby yeah yeah no i agree with you but anyway we've i'm i think i do wonder if we found all the cool stuff now, yeah now, now yeah. it's just not cool stuff that's left <laughs> Yeah, there's, there must be some cool stuff. There must because we, we know less about the, what's in the bottom of the ocean than we do. What's yeah, on the moon. true, <laughs> true. Um, but uh, there's we've we've discovered a lot of cool stuff in the And the last piece of news is I'm going to break this to everybody at the same time. I break it to you. Yeah, there is no prestige reef talk show next week. Oh, uh, I'm going to Italy. How am I going to cope? I know you could do a, a Sunday light um, reef, uh, prestige reef live stream. No, thanks. No. <laughs> um, I've never been to Italy. Can you believe that? It's much hard. Oh, no, I, I, I've been. To, I've never been really to Italy. I was in France and I walked across the border to get a pizza in Italy. I was, <laughs> was being there. That's true. Yeah, um, yeah. And it, it, genuinely the truth, one of the worst pizzas I've ever eaten in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I am. Um, I, I only do live streams with you, I'm afraid. Fair enough. So well, it's not the same well, when you're on your own, is it? There will be no live stream next week because no. um, I need a holiday. I've not really had any time off this year. Apart from when did you book this? Did you just decide last, like last week, uh, the week before? Oh. <laughs> not that recently. But anyway, um, that is the news. Oh, sorry, one second. I'm distracted. Someone wrote something about an angelfish. Oh, it's, it's, okay. I should put use this as the most boring fish. That angelfish that's in the comments is well boring. <laughs> what angelfish is it? The it says, Did you guys... yeah, Gweezy, Gazy. Google it. You'll be like, what? Like, why would anyone even be interested? <laughs> well, firstly, if you've clicked on the video to look at um, the most boring fish in the hobby, yeah, one oh seven forty four, and now we're going to talk about the most boring fish in the hobby. Yeah, the first which... of which is a suggestion from this geezer. <laughs> I can't uh, think. <laughs> I can't. I've, 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 yeah, I mean that's pretty boring. It's loading. So the third. Oh, I say do some of them actually look all right. No, but yeah, I did see that, but like the ones, some of them are a bit like eh. that one looks dab drab. Yeah, but that one looks all right. Yeah, but anyway, there are, there are loads, and we've got. So this is the top ten most boring fish in the hobby. I need to get my list up then. There you go. Got I uh, I have my list, and the I reckon. Is... We are about to upset some people. Well, so we're going to upset people who've got these fish. Yes. You're going to upset me because you're going to say fish that I like, and I'm going to upset you. So everyone's going to get upset. Yeah. But it's a laugh. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, would you like to start? Yeah. Okay. And this is, are we doing this thing where, because I, 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 I drop a list of 12. The idea was that we can do five each. So I, I think we should do it the old school way of doing it, where yeah, we okay. used to put two fish up against each other. And and then people would vote. Can we do that? Yeah, why not? Because we 
we're earlier than usual today, aren't we? So we might as well enjoy ourselves. <laughs> let me just uh, let me get the uh, the poll up in that case. All right. Well, in which case, uh, I'm going to start with the Scopastang. Oh, you bet. Okay, I'm going to. Oh. Can I be very specific? Well, some fish change colour, so how does that work? Uh, well, you've just got to say the fish, and then you can you can describe the adult mess or whatever. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go for a put. You gonna go past? I'm gonna go for a, an adult batfish. Adult oh, batfish. Fish. I'm sure you'll be able to find a picture of one. Are the most boring fish, or one of the most boring fish? I probably should have picked a less boring one for this because I think that. Scopas tang, some people will like because you, they're brown, but they're also like different colored ones. Try colors as an example. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, so here's the batfish that Ryan. Oh, you're so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I want an adult Pinata's batfish. Uh, that's what I Googled. Yeah. Yeah. It just, that's what it came up as. Yeah. And the Scopas tang. Scopas tang. So this is the thing we're going to have crossover and we're going to have to, we're, we've both gone up longer lists. So if, if one of us says it, we can't, we can't both say uh, yeah, it. Yeah. See, I've got a Scopas on my list. Yeah. That, they are boring as sin. And yeah. I've had one because it was cheap, basically. And it eats algae. Yeah. That, although it died, unfortunately. Yeah. Can um, we get a picture of my adult batfish, please? <laughs> no, I don't think we can. This uh, We're just going to have a look at these uh, brown. Do you know, it's like close up, actually. That there doesn't yeah. look too horrendous. No, I know. Some of them are all right. But they're like not many of them. Oops, a dolly. Yeah, there here we go. go. So these are the yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's what pretty. I'm going for. I, I don't think that's boring. I mean, it's quite big to but be I fair. Think it's, uh, it's it's unique, but it's ugly. <laughs> this this to me is like the frogfish from earlier. It's not. I wouldn't say it's boring, mm. but I think it's ugly. And would I you have it in your tank? You. No. Would you have I a would, uh, would you have a scopus tank in your tank? No. Uh, yes, I rest my case. I would. <laughs> No, that's what I'm saying. So you would have a Scopus tank in your tank, but you wouldn't have my fish because it's too boring. I oh, rest I my case. Um, no, it's too ugly. There's, there's a difference between being boring uh, and ugly. You can be boring and ugly, Ryan. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> Not you, obviously. That's not what I'm saying. But it is possible for one to be boring and ugly. But I think I don't think they're boring. I think no. I do think they're ugly. I think a Scopus tank is boring. I think that the fact that they turn from this absolutely beautiful fish into one of the most ugly fish you can get yeah. makes them boring. They are, they are, they are horrible fish. There's a place in um, London, yeah. Heron Tower, I think it's yeah, called, where they've got yeah. this massive, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's sun, it's day, it's lit by sunlight, yeah. and they've got a load of those big bat fish in there, and they do, they're they're horrible things. But why didn't you think that they'd put nice fish in there? There probably are nice fish in there as well, but probably yeah, and they're they're all big, I think, and that's the point. You know, it's. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they are. Yeah, I don't. I like. I wouldn't argue with you again. Like, if if where's the poll? If this, if you win, I've got no problem with that. Fifty nine percent batfish. So yeah, I don't have a problem with that. that is yeah, horrible. <laughs> but I did. But I did put forward a, one of my best options to beat for for something that I think I could have beaten with other options. So I should have saved that one to be strategic. Blown your load early on. Well, you know you, me, uh, I try and win these, don't I? They're important to me for some reason. <laughs> we'll do it. And uh, let's just, how's a batfish boring? Yeah, Ryan. Um, uh, well, should we do a trophy for most? No, best, no. Worst I, don't, fish? <laughs> I don't even know where the other trophies are. No, no, I've been my age again. Uh, all right. So that means it must, that must mean it's my turn next. Scopas tank. Believe that. Uh, how controversial do I want to be? Uh... Actually, technically, I should be able to go first. You went first last time, didn't you? Correct. Yeah, yeah you go first. I'm going to go for a sleeper goby. Sleeper goby. Is that the. Um... Oh, no. The yellow headed sleeper goby. No. No. This. No, not that. What is it? No, one second. Let me Google the exact. I think it's a barred sleeper goby. Bard sleeper, bard sleeper goby. Oh, the, yeah, these guys. Yeah, sleeper banded goby. Yeah. I think. Do you know what? I was looking down the list earlier, and I think these are all right. I actually think they're quite good. Really? Yeah. No, I, I had I, one. They're just grey. They're close. They're close. They they would be they would be outside my top ten, but they're close. But I don't think they're horrendous. Okay, let's see what you've got to go up against it then. What do I want to put up against that? Uh, Charles, we're voting for the most boring. Most boring, yeah. Most boring. 
Uh, I'm going to go for the bicolor fox face. Oh, that, that's not even close. What you think? Which you think? I think you, you're way more interesting. Look at that beautiful yellow tail and that interesting brown. Face. <laughs> yeah, but look at the so, yellow tail and the interesting face. Hmm. Mm, not sure about that. What was your one called? Sleeper Gobi. Bard Sleeper Gobi, yeah. Um, but so, yeah, this. Uh, let me put them side by side, actually. Uh, so yes. I think, I think, uh, I think the fox face is more boring. Uh, so I, I like the the one spot fox face. Yeah. But if if you, like some people don't like them and think they're they're ugly or whatever, and I I can't really argue with that. And the bicolor one in particular is just, is brown. It's not bicolor. It's brown. Someone actually asked the question about fox faces earlier about mixing multiple ones. I have mixed multiple fox faces before, three of them. Uh, I had a just, a, you know, the fox face low, like the normal yellow one. Yeah. Um, and I had a magnificent. Is that okay. what it is? Yeah, no, yeah, is it magnificent? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and also a bicolor all together. And um, the magnificent and bicolor got on, and the other two wanted to kill the, the fox face low. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. It can be done, but uh, they all ate, ate Carl in the end. Oh, <laughs> I, no. hate, I hate fox faces. <laughs> yeah. So I've seen them. I've seen them together, but I've also seen um, people put them in together. Very similar ones, like a one spot and a, a fox face low. Yeah. And they, yeah. They, they, it doesn't go well. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> they got all. they've got quite sharp teeth. Those fish. Like you can actually yeah, see yeah. teeth in their mouth. Yeah, they couldn't yeah. bite yeah. you, but you can actually see them. They rip yeah, algae off the the stuff. Yeah. Uh, I've just realized why you want to do polls because you always win them. I'm getting no, smacked. I'm just it makes it more fun if I win, <laughs> yeah. If you win, yeah. So I'm losing this one 85%. I'm Sneaky not surprised, Gobi. like, my, my fish was way worse than your fish, <laughs> both pretty boring to be fair. But that was yeah. so I looked at that and I was like, well, maybe all right. And I'm just getting started. <laughs> so that's that's the first two, yeah. Uh, is it who's turn? Is it my turn now? Your turn, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go with pajama cardinal. Oh, I'm going to go up with up against you with also a ghost cardinal is what I'm going to go with. Is that the one with the red spot on the tail? Uh, no, I think they're just white. Okay, which is the most boring? Pajama. They might have blue on them, but I'm pretty sure they're mostly white. Ghost cardinal. Let me get a photo of. Um... Uh, oh yeah, I've I've got to win this one. I've just googled it. <laughs> It's like grey. <laughs> uh, ghost. I think if if this is the one I'm thinking of, pardon. This, this your is, one, this is on your my one looks like well. it's wearing spotty pajamas. Oh, like, yeah. oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. I can. I concede. You can see. Concede. <laughs> yeah. The, these are. Yeah. You're. You're right. The, this. This should be a hundred percent. These guys here. Yeah. I completely agree. They're horrible. Well, they're not horrible. But they're just boring. There is one cool thing about them. Most fish do not shoal in our tanks. If you get 50 chromis, generally they won't, they'll just yeah. do what they want. Ghost cardinals stay very close to you. Even you can even see in the pictures, they're all very close to each other when there's multiples in them. So you you can actually create a shoaling, uh, like a shoal in your tank with these fish, but I don't know any other fish you can do that with. Would you want to though? Uh, uh. I mean, in a way, that makes them not boring. Oh, cool try try to claw your way out. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to argue that they are, they are not. They are boring as sin. Yeah. And I'm going to say something controversial. Yeah, that looks like a freshwater fish to me. What you, the yeah the sort of fish you'd get in the freshwater yeah. hobby? Yeah, the pajama cardinal is boring as hell as well, and I I hate them. I I actually <laughs> I agree with you. I don't like them. But what I will say is that people either love them or they hate them. Yeah, okay. And I remember someone who came over and they, and they literally, she went, oh, they look like they're wearing spotty pyjamas. <laughs> I was like, okay. I've never <laughs> noticed that. I've never noticed that. But I think they're ugly with a, that big red eye and like a green face, isn't it? Yeah, just they're just, they're horrible. I just really don't like them. However, yeah. the Ghost Cardinal has won 70-30, actually, closer than it might have been. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. We're rattling through these because we've got quite a lot. <laughs> well, that's true. So, uh, my turn? Yeah. I'm going to go for a look down fish. Yeah, okay. They're just look silver. 
They are, so you don't see them very often. They are from, um, they were made famous by uh, Tanked, weren't they? Were they? I they, don't know. Yeah, they, every tank in Tanked, they had look downs. Hey, hey, uh, hey. I've just seen, have you seen that comment from Mark Thor? Mark Thor, Mark Thor, Mark Thor. So Ryan is the best at picking the worst fish. Sounds about right. What are you trying to say, Mark? I can't see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ryan is the best at picking the worst fish. Yeah. Rinsed. And he's got a tractor, so he knows what he's talking about. No. Tractor. Uh, I'm going to go with another cardinal. Oh, what's it called? Tail spot? Red spot. Red spot cardinal fish. Uh, and these guys, these are another one that they do show, actually. Okay. Red spot. And apparently they, they show quite tightly. But this is another one that looks like a... Um... Oh, so you're saying they're not boring because they show? Well, <laughs> I, I, arguably, but... Um... Hang on, red spot. Red spot cardinal. Uh, let me share the screen. So this is them side by side. Yeah. You know these ones? Oh, they look like neon tetras. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. They just like and if I wanted a neon tetra, I'd buy a freshwater tank. Neon tetras are cool in a freshwater yeah. tank. But these look like a crap version of a neon tetra. <laughs> crap like version. A, a neon that looks like a captive bred version of it, if you know <laughs> what I mean. In the, of a, like what, the one that hasn't eaten for six months. I think they're not that easy to keep as well. For some, no, they're course, really, yeah, they're uh, really notoriously yeah. very difficult. I've got them, yes. Oh, that's it's obviously true then. Yeah, I just, um, I don't know why they're difficult to keep. Them, but, no, but that's because that they're, they're, they're another fish that apparently that do shell really tightly. Yeah. It's just again like goat cardinals. Would you want that? <laughs> mm, but the, the really. look down is also an exceptionally, I don't know if, again, I think that's ugly. But I think it's got character. Yeah, but it's got like yours has got some red on it at least and some blue. Mine's just grey. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a bit of tin foil, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, uh, I don't take any. Although this one's got a yellow tail look, so you know. Oh, so all of a sudden it's more interesting. <laughs> he looks like he's he's had his head stoved, you know, doesn't he? I'm afraid. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, tanked on tanked. They had those all the time. Yeah. Every tank they had look downs in. Every now and then you see these in the UK. I think yeah. they're in Florida. I think they, they collect them in Florida. Every now and then you see them in the UK, but they get quite big, and I think they're predators. Uh, yeah, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't trust one in my tank. No, I wouldn't, tank. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want one to, no. This is close. This is 50-50, basically. Oh. It's literally 50-50. So... Oh, we should stop it now. Let me just wait until mine gets ahead, because I've <laughs> lost everything so far. So, <laughs> guys, we're going to be here all night, unless you... Unless you collect... I can, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to turn my mic off. I'm just going to sit here in silence until I. That's all right. I'll just should I start telling people like interesting stories. I've ended the poll. Where's it end? Oh, 51% in favor of you. Is it actually <laughs> for is. you? No, no, in favor of you. you oh, is it? <laughs> when I clicked on it, it said 50 50. Oh, did it? Yeah. Uh, there uh, we go. Oh, there's 51% you, 48% me, weirdly. <laughs> there's, a, there's a 1% missing. YouTube is rubbish, that. We I are think... four for four at the moment. Yeah, I know. I think that means that's yeah, so that's four. So we've only got one left now. Oh no, I got other ones on my list. But, so this is the last one we'll do a poll on, and then we'll we'll just run through the ones on our list. Okay. So what's oh it's me next, isn't it's it? Your turn, yeah. Uh, possum ras. Oh, that well, there's a few different types. But uh, wet morella. I f I feel like I've done a better job at this than you. I think yeah, I you put, probably have. I think I put more effort in. Yeah, uh, no. the, so the reason I'm saying possum rass is because when you see a possum rass online, yeah, they look really cool. They are one of my favorite rass possum uh, rass. But when they you are. see them in in the flesh, they look really crap. What's no. your what? What do you want to go up against? I'm going to go up against um a one of those uh file fish. You know, like the aptasia eating ones. Oh, the, yeah, again, I I that was on my list, but I think they're really cool. No. They look like a piece of just, oh, this quad podcast is boring. Oh, that's not very nice, Ryan. Don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've tasted eating filefish. Or what was the one I chose? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I've just realized. I've just realized it's probably a pun because we're talking about boring fish. Oh, I see. Yes. Good. We were both slightly offended. <laughs> I, th th we get people are going to find this boring. All right? Not yeah. everyone's going to love it. So True. that's fine. You, you don't have to love it. We're basically um, showing you all the fish not to buy. Tasia eating 
file. Fish. You are insane for putting possum brass. Some uh, Carnotaurus has just said that. Uh, all right. Well, it's it's fish I find boring. And I'm going to share my screen. No. That come on, those that is literally fish. my favorite ras. File, those uh, file fish, I think. So they're they're ugly again. They're they're plain. Actually, they are probably boring to be fair. <laughs> but they're really. Have you ever had one? Uh, temporarily, and it's like eating coral, so I got rid of it. Same, I'd same. I've done it twice, but they're really cool. Their movement is really characterful. I really like them. Actually, I would. If it weren't for the fact that they eat corals, I would have one. I saw them at a wholesaler shoaling, going round and round and round in a circle like a whirlpool. Um, so that is actually quite interesting about them. So I'm I'm losing. <laughs> I'm fighting. That's interesting. That is interesting. But yeah, I'd never seen. I'd never seen it like a massive group. There was probably like a hundred of them in one tank. And they were literally. But then that's the the the, the, the fish behave. The way fish behave in a holding tank is not necessarily the way they behave in real life. Uh, true. So I wouldn't expect them to shoal, basically. And if if they if they were a shoaling fish, you'd know about it. That would yeah, be yes. a secret that no, no one's discovered. Yeah, yeah but, but if you had um, if you had a hundred cob bands in the, in a tank, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't act like that. Uh. Try they will probably, you know, how they sort of like hang near things, don't yeah. they? They sort of just like hang around. They were probably all trying to hang near each other. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, hanging around in circles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I've lost this one heavily. Eighty-eight uh, percent think that an aptasia eating filefish is more boring. I really like aptasia eating filefish. I think they're no. genuinely. If they didn't eat coral, I'd have one. I think they're really cool. I think they're really charitable. And the possum ras, I would have a possum ras still. But they are when you see the photos. So here we go. Here are the photos. Like that, that looks awesome. How cool is that? Yeah. But that's not the way they look in the flesh. Everyone I've seen in the flesh, they just drab like this. This is what a possum ass looks like. <laughs> but you know, there's they're different types, don't you? Yeah. There's three, I think there's three different types of possum ass. So this I, is this is the most boring. That's this the one is the Tanakas. Yeah. Tanakas? Yeah, Tanakas pygmy ras. But even these ones, they don't look that exciting. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's fine. I think it's a point. I think they're related to closely related to mystery rats. I think um, that might be wrong. But that sounds right. Yeah, but I don't. Uh, I don't but know. mystery rats get much bigger. Yeah, they get uh, um, quite uh, invert et apparently. I love. I can't think because like I say something and then he, he comes forward and goes, "Yep, yeah, this this is the correct information. There are three species." I'm like, "Great, thank you for confirming." <laughs> However, the white banded species are gorgeous in person. Maybe I just haven't seen that one. But the ones I've seen are dull. Uh, I'm just Googling oh. white band. Yeah, white, white bandy one. That's the one I like. Possum Rass eats coral. No, I don't think so. I'd be very surprised. Um, it doesn't, just to clarify. I think that I think the person might be confused because about the file fish eating coral. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah, no, file fish, yeah. file fish eat coral. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, file fish should be called a coral eating file fish, not aptasia. Yeah, fish. yeah true. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're more likely to eat your acans than they are your aptasia. Although they do eat aptasia, it's just anyway. Um, all right. Charles so Benny got... likes the voting. I think we should do more voting more often because it's we... five nil at the moment. <laughs> yeah. We so we should do it occasionally. When we do it every week, yeah, it's boring. Yeah, yeah. Um, and actually, there's not the, when we did it before. People used to there was loads of votes this time. Not been, I mean, they've been pretty quick. It was usually about a hundred, wasn't it? There's only been like thirty this time, or forty. Thirty, or forty, but there's not as many. But anyway, whatever. Let's go on to the others. So, what else is on your list? I had an adult French angelfish, adult. which I think are you see, like, you're what? cheating here. No, adult French no. angelfish. There's no such thing as an. Adult French angel, what fish? Adult French angel. Yes, there's an there's French, an adult angel. French angel fish. I think they're not is... too bad. No, boring. boring. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have it. It's big. But, uh, I I wasn't confident I could win. I wasn't confident I could win with one of those. So that's why I left it off my uh, my list. Another controversial one. Do you want my second one, next one, or do you want to go, go next? On. Yeah, go on. Uh, pretty much any lionfish. Lionfish are boring. They don't do anything, and they're mostly yeah, brown. Okay. They saw the, uh, they even make the rest of your tank boring because they eat the cool fish. <laughs> yeah. I so, actually think lionfish are quite cool. No, no. I've had one and I was I it was the, it was literally lionfish was the fish that got me into the hobby and I got one and I was like, is this rubbish. is this what it's, it's, it's all <laughs> do about? Do something. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. <laughs> well that's so that but that's the thing. They're, and they're they're the fish that I think if when I was growing up. 
to yeah. me, the lionfish was the most amazing thing you've, I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And if you're not in the hobby, I think lionfish are really cool. Yeah. But if you're in the hobby, they are boring because they just sort of. I, I kind of like the little tiny ones though, fuzzy dwarf. The, the, the uh, uh, yeah. I, I don't mind no, the the f- <laughs> yellow fuzzy dwarf ones. I don't mind that. Yellow fuzzy um, dwarf. I used to think you get black lionfish, but apparently you don't. Oh, the yellow fuzzy dwarf is quite cool, to be fair. Yeah, that's. But I, that's, still, that's I wouldn't cool. ever have one. Still, they're cool. The but, so, but their boring. behavior is boring. Yeah, their behavior is boring, and they are limiting to, as I said, what you can keep with it because everything else has to be bigger than that than it. What about the little ones? I've seen lots of people with little ones. Yeah, but I mean, you wouldn't want to have like a yellow clown goby in with it, but yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Even the little ones, it, your limit basically that has to be your smallest fish. You have no other choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and once it gets bigger, you want to hope mouths open quite wide, don't they? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) They look like they've got like a distended jaw. uh, jaw. All right. Well, so you've gone through two that you think are controversial. Yeah. Two. These two, I think, are coral beauty. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be on my own here. I'm not not putting it to a vote. That's why I've left it off. (laughs) I just think they're so boring. And the, I think the only reason people buy them is because they're reportedly more reef safe than most angelfish no they're, they're like got, they're, they're like purple with tiger stripes they're boring they're just no like, not they're not like, no i'm sorry you're definitely gonna have to <laughs> with this one people in the comments please please correct alex because he's definitely wrong white and christina kraut says they're boring so, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's entirely possible she was coming to, i mean that was that comment was from before i said it but you know yeah um you want you think that's controversial next on my list firefish uh that's because they don't do anything do they they just yeah the, like the purple ones the um what the expensive ones what are they called uh i can't remember anyway you know the ones i mean not the purple yeah, fire uh, hell freaky hell, hell freaky yeah yeah yeah, yeah. They're, they're they look really cool but the red just normal box down red ones they just like do this back and forwards all yeah. day long and it's like ah, oh, move will you no i've never i've never had one they they um they're not overly i, I had a hell um, freaky and it died it, I think they they like really peaceful tanks. Yeah. My tank is not boisterous at all. Yeah, but there are a couple of fish that are a little bit bullish, and I think it just it just stressed itself. To... It's weird. Fish die of stress, don't they? Or like it, it, ostensibly, it seems that it seems that they do. Yeah, but it, um, it just it, yeah it didn't last long. Disappeared. Oh, we got people saying you're wrong. I love coral beauty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, this is the thing. There's there's fish that are on this list that I think are boring. Lots of people love. <laughs> See, I like how what I do is I tell you my opinion and then I turn the chat against you as well. <laughs> yeah, basically. Well, uh, I also go on. I have a boring but controversial one. Go on. Algae blady. Algae no, blady. Yeah, are they, yeah, they're really cool. They're not boring. They're boring, but they've got a cool personality, and that's yeah, exactly. That, like, that's, yeah, gets them through. So you're confusing boring with ugly. All right, I'll tell you what. If, and I think I know which way this is going to go. Okay, let's put up an algae blenny against the coral beauty. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll put an algae blenny against my next, um, uh, my next one, which is very controversial, which is okay. more boring. Algae blenny, this awesome character versus this is awesome character. Oh, I've not put that. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up um, a picture, and this is gonna. Some people are gonna. Some people are gonna unsubscribe when I put this up. It's, it's that. I think this is potentially a, a controversial one. Uh, so let me just find a picture. Is killing me. Algae blenny. So I'm just picking. I'm just putting up uh, photos. Algae, I I love algae blennies. I think they're awesome because they're characters. Blennies are brilliant characters. The one I'm going to put up against is drumroll the longhorn cowfish. Oh, uh, what's wrong with you? Like boxfish are the coolest fish in the world. So a cowfish, you're definitely going to lose this one. I'm definitely going to lose it, probably at ninety, a hundred percent. But that that is a boring fish. No, and they're so they're just. I mean, like, you pick, you have the... literally picked the worst possible picture. That's a bet. That's a more accurate picture yeah, of a long I don't, I don't want to click on that. But this one, just just because they're like the boxfish are really bright yellow and they're awesome. Yeah. All of the like the longhorn cowfish. No, they look go, faded. Go one picture along. I don't want to. And then go another <laughs> picture along and another picture no, along. You've got I four pictures to. there. You pick the boring one. Look how cool this one is. I'm going to lose this anyway. Look at his teeth, by the way. That's cool. Don't, 
No. <laughs> no, no, I'm not trying to persuade you that they're boring that they're not boring. I'm just saying it's just that's a good photo. No, I just although to be fair, they do have pretty cool eyes. If you look at their eyes. Like, yeah, they're, they're, I, so like... there, there was well, on my honeymoon where there was a little um rock pool uh, yeah. just up the beach, and there were a load of there were I don't know, half a dozen algae brands, just like a few meters long. And they were really, it was really cool to watch them. Yeah. And I love algae blenny. I've got a starry algae blenny. Cool. Did you see any um, cowfish when you're in the sea? In no. Rockpool? Because they'd probably be really interested too. They were just being boring somewhere. Um, do you know, this is closer than I thought. Is it? I was looking at the that comments. Your choices weird. are not on point Your today, my friend. Point today, my friend. <laughs> this is the thing. This, I'm not saying that these ones I'm reserving later, these are ones that most people like. But I'm going to end the poll there, 60-40. Yeah. So I lost, of course, but crazy. Oh, don't worry. I'm keeping record. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else is on your list? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I base. Okay, I have another. I've got, only got one left. And no, I, what I've written left. is basically any eel. <laughs> I was going to go for engineer goby. Mm, oh yeah, it's basically the same thing. Uh, so um, if you want, if you what about the, the little banana eels though? Mm, yeah, the they garden don't, eels. They don't. They don't mm, okay, let's not say basically any eel. Let's just go snowflake eel. They don't. They spend most of their day, and they're about an inch out of out of a hole, and that's it. And they don't move. And then all of a sudden, you might see it when it comes out for food, and that's it. Yeah, they're pretty boring. To be fair, I'll give you that. Here it is. This is one in the sea for the looks of it. Yeah. So yeah, not. Uh... No, I don't. I don't like. Uh, I'll give you that. They are. They are boring. I don't tend to like eels. Um, yeah. they, they creep me out as well. They're not like a. They're, that's to me like you know in freshwater you get oddball fish. Yeah. That to me is like a saltwater oddball fish. Yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. I would. Not I really would. A fish, I, is it? <laughs> I would get a dwarf golden a uh, golden moray. I would get those. Yeah. Um, the only problem with eels is that if you go, they're not easy to feed if you go away. So you can't go, oh, excuse me, neighbor. Oh, you, you've got to go and you, hand feed it. <laughs> yeah. Can, can you go hand feed my eel? You're yeah, like, yeah. What? what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, that sounds like an innuendo. Yeah. Uh, I've got some other ones. Melanaris Ras. <laughs> oh, I, I had a feeling that might come up. I'm not putting it on the poll because everyone loves that. Yeah. The other three I th I've got, I think, are controversial as well. Yellow eyed coal tank. Mm, I mean, boring as hell. They're much worse. There are much more boring fish, but yes, for a tang, it's definitely boring. There's like orange shoulder tangs are boring as well. That's not on my list, but they're boring. They look yeah. cool when they're young, but then they fade yeah. and go old. Did you see uh, the orange shoulder tang in my video? Uh, I don't think so. Did you not notice that that completely white tang? Mm, I, I I was yeah. doing other things at the time, oh, so. <laughs> oh, so you watched it, but you didn't really watch it. Fancy. I listened to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's, a, was, there's it, a, was it an adult? Was it a boring adult? It's a massive adult, but it's completely white with with like a tiny yellow patch on it, and it's an orange shoulder tank. It's like one of those like yeah, you, know, you get white zebrazomas. It's like one of those, but yeah. a um, not a zebrazoma. Was it? And it cool? Yeah, I think it's cool. But, I mean, I, I think it was very, very expensive, so it wasn't yeah, cool as with regards to the price of it. But have you got anything else on your list? Uh, no, no. I got two more. Some people are going to hate me for this. <laughs> Where are we going with this then? Come on, then. blue neon goby. Blue. I consider yeah, but... that. I consider that on my list. Oh really? I actually did, oh. and then I went, "No, that's a shit idea." <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, so I would buy one of these. To be fair, yeah. Um, but you ever see them in, in fish ups? You must do. Yeah, they're just small they're just, and blue. Exactly. They're, they're very small. Yeah. They've got quite a bright streak, but you don't really see them because they're so small and they just sit on the glass. Yeah. And it's I like, got, <sighs> Jamie got two of them the other day. Can you imagine how, how often he'll see yeah. those? Probably 10, never. 10,000 litre tank, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that, and the last one on my list was a Tommy tank. I agree. Really? Uh, mm. Yeah. I I have yeah, one. Me too. <laughs> they are the most <laughs> boring tang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even tell you why I've got one. I definitely didn't buy it. <laughs> I bought it because it's a, a, a bristle bristle tooth thing. It's a bristle yeah, tooth small thing. one. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's but because it's a different. It will eat different kinds of algae to my fox face. 
Yes. Yeah. So that so it's is then is in there solely in my water box to do a but job. They've got, those, like, they got <laughs> those like flame tips, so you think they're going faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold rush. Yeah, the, so the orange is okay, but it's just it's mostly grey and it's like a funny grey. It's kind of half grey, half brown. Yeah. All right, yeah. Michael. That was my last one. Anything else on your <laughs> do nope. your See, this is the, this is the thing. I know the <laughs> fish that I think are are, are, are um um are boring. I know other people don't. But that that's why this is so interesting. This hobby because everyone mm. has different taste, and uh, so I don't know if we'll do this. But just before the stream started, I said that we should do one. We should do a most overrated fish, didn't we? Yeah. Didn't I, I told you? And and the suggestion I gave to you shocked you, didn't it? But when I actually explained what to you it? what it was an Achilles tang, yeah. I think Achilles tangs are one of the most overrated fish. But that's, so that's the thing because overrated is totally different to this subject because yeah. it yeah. doesn't mean that it's not cool. Yeah. You know, I mean, Achilles tang looks spectacular. They're, they're yeah. amazing. But, but they're over, you think, yeah, go on. Tell but us they're incredibly they're expensive and there's a very high chance they'll be dead in two weeks. <laughs> so and do you want to pay £600 it, it, pounds for that? No, that is an it. overrated fish. Maybe. So, yeah. Maybe one day. Some people clearly have wrong tastes. Yeah, Ryan does. I agree with you. Oh, um, I James says, surely the guppy is the most boring. That's freshwater, though. That's true. That's true. So, so you get loads of different types of um, guppies. Uh, I reckon I guppies know, are maybe. probably more interesting than some of the fish we put out today. <laughs> uh, scopus. There were actually, oh, I forgot there was um, people, were, people were commenting on this on the, um, oh, hang on a second. I've just lost money. Uh, people were commenting on this on the Facebook page. I meant to pull up the ones that people suggested. I forgot. Where do you think I got all my ideas from? No, I don't know. Uh, just I actually didn't. Because <laughs> the ones that, so I'll, I'll read out the ones that were on here. Uh, clownfish. Two people say clownfish. I actually, did, I I was going to put skunk clownfish on there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're a funny colour, aren't they? They're not like a, I kind of want a pair, to be fair. They, I mean, they've got no pattern. That's the problem. And they're like kind of like a, a stripe. The, the pink is like, it's not really, it's not like a bright pink either. It's a bit of a dull pink. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or orange, yeah. But the, I, to be fair, I can't, I, I love clownfish. I think they're wicked. Yeah. But I don't necessarily disagree that they're boring. Not skunks. Because they do just, they, <laughs> skunks. Because they do just swim by like your overflow or whatever, don't they? All day long. Yeah. Like, so that's okay, the only really. two fish I've got in the water box tank at the moment. And I don't ever look at the water box tank because they, they don't do anything. They, what I've actually noticed, the, the clownfish that are in there, in that because obviously it's a big tank to have just two fish in there, they spend most of their time hiding under the rock in the middle. They don't like being around no other fish. No. They, it's like they want other fish there to feel secure. Yeah, yeah. Well, this time next week, I'll be putting the other fish in, hopefully. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've been in quarantine for three weeks now. So Interesting. So they've been treated and they're disease-free. Hopefully. Hopefully, that's the plan. All right. Well, that can be what you can tell us about next week. What are you? Have you got other fish that you're going to buy after that? Mm, I want some more tangs, probably. I don't really know what tangs. Problem is, I've got so many of them now. Like I, I have because I have so many you different a, tanks. You want a black tank still, right? Yeah, but oh, I only. I'm very specific about what black tank I want. I want one that's like this big, and yeah, they all come in like this inch, big. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. So. <laughs> I yeah I, I do want a black tang. I'm not sure I'd get a black tang straight away with just one other yellow tang because that is like asking for trouble. Uh, I would have to try to somehow quarantine expensive a few. one as well, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's an expensive one to get wrong. Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't know. I it's hard because as I said, I've got so many fish. I have basically every tang you can think of, like most of them, vampire tangs. Like to me, tangs, yellow, purple, like so whole, everything. Yeah, I don't have an, Ach I don't have an Achilles. Uh, I did have an Achilles, <laughs> uh, but it it was given to me and it died. So it, well, it wasn't given to me. It came with a tank crash. So right, oh no, nasty. Um, that's why I don't like them. I definitely don't want a clown tang. No, I, you they you they're, they're aggressive. Clown tangs, yeah, are very aggressive. Yeah. Someone on the consultation the other day, he said to me, I always wanted a clown tang. It was on my list. And then and then and then I, I watched how much you hate them, so I didn't buy one or, or take it off my list. Interesting. So it's good so, to know that I'm correct. I'm like helping people. Yeah. 
Maybe had a Matatang. I don't like Matatangs. What tang? Matatangs. I think they get massive. How do you spell that? Matatang. M A T A. That would be on the boring, li- boring fish list. <laughs> Matatang. Yeah, she had a little uh, one, but they do uh, get massive. Uh, they don't really oh, look like not... other tangs. No, hang on. Let me just uh, bring up. They're boring. Uh, that looks like that looks odd. That looks like food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, actually, I don't know if that's it. Yeah, they're boring. Don't that's worry. not a mass tang. That one, I don't think. Well, all of these fish are boring. Yeah, that's boring. Go fish mass tang. All right. Well, we have concluded our boring fish. I think. Uh, so, anything else you want to talk about before we wrap it up? No, we've got an hour back, aren't we? So I'm tired now. Bedtime yeah, it's been me. a long day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, well, thank you for joining. Thanks for sticking through the um, technical issues with YouTube. Yeah. And we will see you all not next week because uh, I'm away, but I'll see yeah. you in two weeks. Okay. See you later. See you Bye. Bye.